Hello, my name is Fatini Pobody, and I'm going to talk about a research project that you may find interesting for the purposes of this conference that unfortunately I cannot participate in person. The Supreme Council for Civil Personnel Selection, better known as a SEP, its abbreviation in the Greek language, is an independent body provided under the Greek Constitution entrusted with performing public administration recruitment processes. I have had the honor to be serving as a member of the Council for the past four years, and I can assure you from my personal experience that if our pilot in the Quality Chain project is successful, this new technology will be highly considered to be embedded in our legal framework, not just for staffing the public sector, but for other public sector services as well. Moreover, it will bring added value to degrees and other qualifications obtained online or not. A few words about us, ASEP. There are approximately 260 people working in our organization. Our job is to staff the public sector with the most suitable candidates, adopting each time the selection process or processes provided under the law. Practically speaking, vacancies in the civil sector are either announced through newsletters, the government gazette, or the press. Candidates visit ASEP's official website and fill in their qualifications in the so-called registry. As soon as they have all their qualifications filled in, degrees, experience, languages, etc., they submit a new application for the vacancies they're interested in, print out a copy of their application, and send it through post to our headquarters. Just a few months ago, it was mandatory for the candidates to send all supporting documents along with their printed out application. As we speak, the law has changed and they are called to do so if and when deemed necessary. In other words, if they rank high enough, making it highly possible to be evaluated and actually considered for the job, they are asked to send their supporting documents. In the near future, all supporting documents will be uploaded along with the submission of the, of the e-application. As soon as the deadline of the application submission is reached, ASEP proceeds with one of the following selection processes that are more or less the most commonly used. Number one, evaluation of qualifications based on a credit system. That is, the nominal grade of a degree in a scale from 1 to 10 is multiplied by 100. For example, a candidate who is a holder of a degree with grade 6 out of 10 earns 600 credits, the result of 6 times 100. Number 2. Evaluation of qualifications based on a credit system, as I explained, coupled with a score achieved in a written examination. For example, a candidate earns 1,200 credits from his degrees, experience, spoken languages, and so forth, plus 200 credits from his or her score in the written examination, a total of 1,400 credits. Number three, evaluation of qualifications plus interview. This time without the assistance of a credit system. That we will get back to. All these recruitment processes are supported by a high-end electronic information system that manages not just a vast volume of applications, but also a large number of vacancies, news releases, results, and most importantly, candidates' records kept in the registry. This is, in a few words, what we have been doing for the past 26 years with its flaws and all. Yet it is widely accepted that we operate on the principles of transparency, accountability, effectiveness, and efficiency. Technology and expectations from future employers, though, change over time, and we are not just willing, but feel that we have a duty to explore technology advancements to the benefit, ultimately, of the people. ASEP entered into the Quality Chain project with the aim to achieve the following targets. Number one, validation of authenticity. More specifically, each time a candidate applies for a certain vacancy, he or she sends or uploads a copy of his or her degree, which is being evaluated based on the assumption that it is genuine, 
regardless which selection process has been adopted. The authenticity of the degree is being checked at a later stage when the employer actually proceeds with a successful candidate's hiring. Candidates are then ranked by the credits they collect from both their qualifications and results of the written examination and the ones ranking first get hired from their future employer. If the degree were to be found fraudulent, the bureaucratic burden would be enormous. Needless to mention, the time wasted for validating the authenticity of the degree could jeopardize hiring the most suitable candidate after all. The blockchain technology can provide us with a functionality that does exactly that. Validation of authenticity on the spot. And why not extend this to other qualifications in the future, such as the candidate's experience? Two, candidate screening in the sense of personalized notifications. Potential candidates sign up for newsletters regarding job vacancies in general. By matching individual profiles as they appear in the registry with upcoming vacancies in the public sector, we will manage to notify the best possible applicant for the role. Candidate screening in the sense of qualifications and interview assessment tool. Things get even more complex when hiring or assessing highly qualified personnel and managers throughout the public sector. In these cases, it is mandatory to run interviews, the purpose of which is to assess whether the candidate's qualifications, career ambitions, ownership of the role, and other qualitative criteria and skills such as leadership, team playing, and so forth, align with the position. The committees assigned the task to run these interviews enjoy a wide discretion in picking the assessment methodology each time. Their decision, in a few words, the ranking of the candidates they end up with following their methodology is being described in detail in dozens and dozens of pages in their minutes in a manner that it is difficult to convince the public, the candidates and the courts, that the ranking of the candidates is a result of a comparative analysis based on objectivity. Why is A more suitable than B, and why is B more suitable than D? A has a relevant PhD, but B is more of a T player. By participating in the Quality Chain project, we aspire to achieve exactly that, the adoption of an assessment methodology tool based on quantified and predefined criteria, each bearing its own weighing factor. At the moment, our team works closely with our partners in this project to overcome challenges, such as the strict GDPR mandates, integration with internal standard procedures and information systems, semantic interoperability, and so forth. Unfortunately, Greece is notorious for its red tape and slow-moving official DOM. The significance and symbolism of ASEP entering into this project is aligned with the efforts of our country to enter into a new era and polish its brand name abroad. My colleagues and I are excited to be part of this. Our pilot will be out in a few months from now and we're looking forward. Thank you.